Psalm 37 verse 4. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. 1. The fine-grained soils in the field can be identified through the use of simple visual and manual tests except blank. a. Water mobility. b. Dry strength. c. Plasticity. d. Dry weight. d. Dry weight. Reference, ASTM D2488-00. Standard practice for description and identification of soils. Visual manual procedure. 2. The most basic criterion that can be applied for rejection of asphalt mixture delivered to the site is a. Asphalt content. b. Grading mixture. c. Temperature of mixture. d. All of the above. c. Temperature of mixture. Reference, item 307. Bituminous plant mix surface course, general. The mixture shall be placed at a temperature not less than 107 degrees Celsius as measured in the truck just prior to dumping into the spreader. 3. This is driven in order to determine the casting length of the piles. A. Test pile. B. Board pile. C. Sheet pile. D. Batter pile. A. Test Pile. Reference, Item 400, Piling. The data obtained from driving test piles and making test loads will be used in conjunction with other available subsoil information to determine the number and lengths of piles to be furnished. 4. Stone mastic asphalt shall be placed at a temperature not less than A. 135 degrees B. 107 degrees C. 115 degrees. D. 125 degrees. A. 135 degrees. Reference, D0152S 2015 Item 734, Stone Mastic Asphalt. Laying the mixture shall be placed at a temperature of not less than 135 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 180 degrees Celsius measured in the truck before dumping into the spreader. 5. What is the plasticity index of the soil having a liquid limit of 40 and plastic limit of 10? A. 50. B. 42. C. 6. D. 30. D. 30. Formula. PI equals LL minus PL. 40 minus 10 is equal to 30. 6. In sub-base construction a trial section of about blank square meter shall be made for every type of material equipment procedure proposed for use. A. 2000. B. 1500. C. 1000. D. 500. D. 500. Reference, Item 200, Aggregate Subbase Course. Trial Section. One trial section about 500 square meters shall be made for every type of material and or construction equipment procedure proposed for use. 7. What is the allowable mass percent air voids of bituminous mixture for Item 310? A. 6 to 10 percent. B. 3 to 5 percent. C. 2 to 6 percent. D. 5 to 8%. B. 3 to 5%. Reference, Item 310, Bituminous Concrete Surface Course, Hot Laid. Composition and quality of bituminous mixture is same as subsection 307.2.1. 307.2.1. Composition and quality of bituminous mixture. The mixture shall have a mass percent air voids with the range of 3 to 5. 8. This is a test criterion for reinforced concrete pipe tested in a 3-edge bearing test. A. 0.3 mm crack. B. 0.4 mm crack. C. 0.5 mm crack. D. 0.6 mm crack. A. 0.3 mm crack. Reference, DPWH item 500, Ashto M170, 
ASTM C76. The strength test requirements in newtons per linear meter of pipe under the three-edge bearing method shall be either the D-load, test load expressed in newtons per linear meter per millimeter of diameter, to produce the 0.3 mm crack. 9. What should be done on the subbase course with existing moisture content of 10% higher than the optimum moisture of the Ashto T180 method D? A. Spread to the required loose thickness and compact. B. Add water, spread to the required loose thickness and compact. C. Dry out to reduce moisture, spread to the required loose thickness and compact. D. Spread to the required loose thickness. C. Dry out to reduce moisture, spread to the required loose thickness and compact. Reference, Item 200, Aggregate Subbase Course, Spreading and Compacting, Drying out as required in order to obtain the required compaction. 10. The proper and accurate measurement of all the materials used in the production of concrete to ensure uniformity of proportions and aggregate grading is called A. Quality Control B. Batching C. Pumping D. Design B. Batching Reference, testbook.com 11. What is the purpose of test pile? A. To determine the required length B. To determine the cross-sectional area of the pile C. To determine the actual number of piles needed D. None of the above A and C. To determine the required length and to determine the actual number of piles needed. Reference, Item 400, Piling. The data obtained from driving test piles and making test loads will be used in conjunction with other available subsoil information to determine the number and lengths of piles to be furnished. 12. The smaller the value of the fineness modulus, the A. Coarser the material. B. Finer the material. C. Lighter the material. D. Drier the material. B. Finer the material. Reference, ACIE 1-16 aggregates for concrete. The coarser the aggregate, the higher the fineness modulus. 13. Which of the following is not required in the preparations of cement treated base? A. Trial section. B. Compaction. C. Curing. D. Stability test. D. Stability test. Reference, Item 207, Portland Cement Treated Plant Mix Base Course. 207.3 Construction Requirement. Includes trial section, compaction and curing. 14. Materials suitable for embankment shall have a plasticity index of not more than A. 12. B. 10. C. 8. D. 6. All are suitable. Note, the answer is 6 if the embankment material is selected borrow for toppings. Unsuitable materials are soils with plasticity index exceeding 55. Reference, Item 104, Embankment. Top portions of the roadbed in both cuts and embankments as indicated shall consist of selected borrow for topping from excavations. 15. Embankment materials are classified as unsuitable materials if a. The natural moisture content is 50%. b. The liquid limit is 40%. c. The plasticity index is 60. d. The natural density is 1200 kg per cubic meter. C. The plasticity index is 60. Reference, Item 104, Embankment, Unsuitable Materials. Soils with liquid limit exceeding 80 and or plasticity index exceeding 55. 16. Which of the following are the qualitative requirements for the reflectorized thermoplastic pavement markings under the DPWH standard specifications? A. Specific gravity and drying time. B. Bond strength to Portland cement concrete after heating. C. Cracking resistance at low temperature after heating. D. All of the above. A. 
D. All of the above. Reference, item 612, reflective thermoplastic stripping material, solid form, table 612.2 qualitative requirements. 17. During testing of concrete cylinders in uniaxial compression, what will happen to the result of the test if the rate of loading is rapid, way above the prescribed rate of loading? A. The computed compressive strength will be higher. B. The result will depend on the age of the specimen. C. Nothing. Rate of loading has no bearing on the result of test. D. The computed compressive strength will be lower. A. The computed compressive strength will be higher. Reference, ASCE Library. As rate of loading increases, compressive strength of concrete increase. 18. If the pipes are fabricated in projects located in remote areas and it is impractical to send samples to DPWH testing laboratory or any private testing laboratory for testing, what would you do if you are the materials engineer? A. Submit a field inspection report. B. Submit a mill certificate. C. Submit test results on concrete cylinder samples. D. A. and C. D. A. and C. Reference, item 500, pipe culverts and storm drains. Alternative requirements. Compressive strength for one set consisting three concrete cylinder samples for not more than 25 pipe cast in the field. Inspection report for each size for not more than 25 pipes cast in the field. 19. Core test for concrete pavement thickness determination showed that 3 out of 9 samples taken failed to meet the thickness requirement. The deficiency in the average thickness of the cores is more than 25 mm. What will you do as material engineer? A. Reject the area represented by the failed core samples. B. Remove and replace the area represented by the failed core samples. C. Accept the section at an adjusted price due to thickness deficiency. D. Increase the thickness of the pavement. B. Remove and replace the area represented by the failed core samples. Reference, item 311, Portland Cement Concrete Pavement. Deficiency in the average thickness. More than 25 mm, remove and replace. No payment. 20. The sand used in the field density test in determining the volume of hole using sand cone method must be clean, dry, and passing sieve number. A. 10. B. 20. C. 30. D. 40. A. 10. Reference, ASTM D1556, Standard Test Method for Density and Unit Weight of Soil in Place by the Sand Cone Method. If you find this video helpful and informative, please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to be notified on next uploads. Thank you and God bless.